make a little cleaning video for you guys. Uh, I'm in a little range report and a cleaning video on this weapon, um, the Sig P229. <clears throat> My first impressions of this gun were, I mean, obviously it's it's, it's really pleasing to the eye. It's really eye candy. Um, I really like it a lot. And uh, I went to shoot it to a range. Hopefully you already saw that video. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Um, <clears throat> Um, just a really, really all around beautiful, beautiful weapon and uh, and really accurate. Um, it's probably just me uh, having more trigger time with these SIGs, but I keep getting better at the range uh, shooting these. Uh, it, it just seems like this one, this one was right on. Uh, I didn't have, I don't think I had to drift anything anywhere, but it's pretty much right on for me uh, the way I like to hold. Um, this sh this gun shoots right on. Um, you don't have to aim low, aim high. Um, I was probably shooting I don't know ten yards, um, maybe not even ten yards, maybe seven, something like that. Um, but it was shooting right on for me. Um, I didn't shoot anything further than that. I don't think I need to practice for any really long shots. Um, anything self defense is going to be from three yards to seven at the most. Anything beyond seven, I think. Uh, I don't think you need to shoot it <clears throat> unless unless you really feel you have to, but I don't think so. Uh, most of the self defense ranges they say to practice are three to seven yards, and that's what I practice a lot. And um, a lot of it's point shooting. Uh, just once in a while, I'll kind of aim at, through the sights and uh, and check the accuracy. And this weapon is very accurate. So let's, let's make a little cleaning video. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna kind of show you how to disassemble this weapon. Um, pull it back, lock it, rotation this to the six o'clock position. Grab the slide from the serrations in the front if yours has it. If it doesn't, we'll you know get one with them because they really do help. So just release it, and off she goes. Anyways, not really disassembly video, just more of a cleaning video uh, range update this thing's pretty dirty it's pretty dirty in there um, I'm not going to show you in detail but yeah I shot I think close to see I had 200 230 40 close to 300 rounds um, went through this weapon today uh, and all these things that I'm going to do Sergio, Serge Racer 56, thank you very much for this knife. I won this in this competition. And uh, I'm just going to take this down a little a little more than you probably should. But you don't have to take it down as far as I'm going to. But I like to get it really, really clean. So I'm going to go ahead and take the grips off. This might be a long video, guys, uh, or I might cut it short. You probably won't see everything, but just keep in mind, you know, if you if you're in the in the market for two two six two two nine, I can vouch they're awesome weapons, very very awesome. Wow, this one was already a little loose. It's a good thing I check it. You know, these things from manufacturer. These are mass-produced guns, um, but I think Sig has somewhat of a quality on mass, produ mass production um, I really like that they teamed up with uh, Magpul and uh, and they teamed up with uh, with Hogan to make them these grips these grips are awesome I really love them it gives you a good purchase on the weapon and uh, the, the grip that I have now I don't know you'll probably see it uh, it's a little different than when I shoot normally but uh, I really think it's an, it's, an, it's an improvement my hands are not slipping off or anything like that so I really like it. First thing is get this really soaked in here. If you're gonna do cleaning videos, I mean not videos. If you're gonna clean your gun and you want it to be real clean, don't 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 skimp out, guys, on the amount of stuff you use. I know they say a little bit goes a long way, but you know. 
I like to get it really well soaked. I like to soak it really well, if that makes any sense. And uh, I like to soak everything. All these mechanical parts here, these probably still have a little bit of grease, of the factory grease. And I like to get everything wet, everything. That's just me. A lot of people are different. I like to, if you spray it and you start seeing black stuff come out, they probably need a cleaning. And, and this stuff needs to be really clean.